All right, Greninja Dark Pulse. Come on. Come on, Greninja. You don't even pick up that KO. But we get the flinch. Oh my goodness. This ninja team is so good. What's going on, guys? Cisco here. Back with some more VGC Double Battles. And today, we've got ourselves a full ninja team. Shout out to the MC73 for suggesting this idea. If you guys want me to showcase one of your favorite Pokemon or just any Pokemon you'd like to see, drop a comment down below and let me know what Pokemon or even gimmick you'd like me to build a team around. But as I mentioned, we have here a ninja team. Pokemon that are either just based on a ninja or have stealthy qualities. Now, the first four you see here, Inteleon, Menchow, Greninja, and Weavile, very easy ones. Both Inteleon and Weavile are just very stealthy Pokemon. And then you've got Menchow, who is straight up a martial arts Pokemon. And then Greninja, who just fits all the requirements to be part of this team. Now, the last two slots were tough, since we don't have any more ninja-based Pokemon in this game. But some viable options would have been a Selgore, Ninjask, or even Shed Ninja. If we had any of those two Pokemon available, this team would have been perfect. But unfortunately, they're not in the game. So, we went with Cleavor and Hitmonlee. Now, with Cleavor, there's really no explanation as to why I chose it. I just think it was the best option out of the bunch. It has two axes for hands. We consider those katanas. He looks a little stealthy. We'll let him rock. Now, Hitmonlee on the other side, he looks like, you know, a Pokemon who would be pretty good at martial arts. So he's a bulky little guy. I'm sure he does a little bit of martial arts, so we'll also let him rock. Now, this is a super hyper offensive meta team. Only support being Hitmonlee. And his goal will be to add a little more bulk and power to my side with coaching. Since most of these mods are just hard hitting squishy Pokemon. There's no type of bulk whatsoever. So the plan is lead off Hitmonlee. Hit a fake out which will activate the normal gem which will then activate unburden doubling our speed for the next turn. Now we'll probably be the fastest Pokemon on the field most likely hopefully. Then we can just start hitting off coachings make our side a little more bulky or we can just knock off the items from the opposing side. So we'll see how this team does probably going to be some fast paced battles since it's just going to be straight attack 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 but we'll see. But guys if you find yourself enjoying this video please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or if you're a returning viewer and are enjoying the content so far, come on, just hit that sub button. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. But now, let's get rolling with this ninja team and try to get some dubs. All right, we've got... I'd consider this a pretty meta team. And I think I like my boy Julius up there, you know? And Teleon looks good here. I also like Min Chao for the wide guard. Hmm. This one's tough. This one's tough. Because they're probably going to lead Incineroar for Intimidate. Yeah, probably. Hmm. Probably Instant Fluttermane is their lead. Yeah, I think I see Instant Fluttermane as their lead. So I think Greninja Hitmonlee is my response to that. Then in the back, I like Weavile. And then last but not least, let's go Inteleon. Do we need Minshaw here? I don't think so. We could have probably brought Minshaw instead of Hitmonlee. The wide guard is nice. But I think we're fine. And Minshaw has inner focus, so that could have been, actually could have been the right play. I guess their lead like an open. Oof. Okay, so he just might go for a fake out as well. Yeah, I should have I should have, you know, brought Minchao maybe. Hmm. My fake out should come out first.
And I'm okay with him only going down here. I'm okay with him only going down here. If we can get rid of this Fluttermane, we're in a good position. Because the next turn, I can bring in Inteleon to get a snipe shot off on the Incineroar. Alright. Fake Out's gonna come out here. Normal gem boosted. Just doesn't matter, really. Just as long as we get the Fake Out. He was going for Fake Out. Now we go next, right? Please, Greninja. What in the world is this Fluttermane? That is one tanky Fluttermane. Oh my goodness, that's disgusting. Wow, that's a tanky Fluttermane. And he's going to withdraw it. Into who? Into the Amoongus. How much are we going to do here? Half. That's not bad. And it's just going to go for a parting shot. Okay. That's perfectly fine with me. I'm okay with that. Are you coming back out with Fluttermane? No, it's going to be the Dark type Urshifu, actually. Okay. He might just go for Sucker Punch. I think he might. I'm gonna come in with Weavile and I'm gonna hit up a coaching. Hopefully he gets rid of my Hitmonlee here. I need Hitmonlee to go down. Sucker Punch, right? Has to be Sucker Punch. Just gonna withdraw the Amoongus. Oh, is it Instant again? No, it's Fluttermane, okay. Yep, and there's the Sucker Punch. Okay, this is a beautiful turn then. So we get a coaching up on the Weavile. Now, do I want to go for like a Night Slash into the... Flutter Main slot, maybe? I just don't know if we outspeed this thing. Do we outspeed this Fluttermane? One seventy five speed. Let's see if Ice Shard is enough. Come on, Weavile. Life Orb, Helping Hand, Ice Shard. Oh my goodness, let's go, Weavile. It's a huge knockout. And now you probably just go for like a close combat. He goes for Sucker Punch again and it fails. Oh, this is huge. I'm out playing him so hard right now. <laughs> Ninja team on top, bro. All right, Instant comes back out here. I think now he's going to want to go for... A close combat. And he also might just fake me out. Okay, let's think this through. I think Weavile can go down here. That's okay. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with Weavile going down. And I'm going to try to knock off this guy's item. Just going to fake out him on Lee. Okay. Nice. 
no way you make the same mistake and go for Sucker Punch, right? Just no way. Okay, goes for the Wicked Blow. Do we soak? Bro, <laughs> are you good? <laughs> hey, I don't ask questions. So now, I'm going to come in with Inteleon. I'm going to go Inteleon. I'm pretty sure we outspeed this. Yeah, we outspeed the, the Urshifu. Because our Ice Shard is coming out before his... We could, uh, his, um... His Sucker Punch. So this is a pretty safe play. Gonna detect. Okay, that's fine. Come on, Inteleon. I need you to pick up this KO. Snipe shot. Bop. Beautiful Inteleon. That's a huge KO. A critical hit, too. Let's go, Inteleon. You love to see it. Then I spin her into the protect. Now he's probably just wondering what I'm gonna go for. Oh, I know what I'm going for. Yo, this game is easy. This game is done. I'm gonna go Ice Shard into the Amoongus. Just start getting some damage done. And I'm just gonna snipe shot the Urshifu. Yo, Weavile's putting in work. Weavile's going crazy right now. Oh, he has Terra still. I forgot. And it's gonna be the Amoongus. Into water, okay. I can still hit that for neutral. Not too worried. But he's gonna Rage Powder. Alright, we might be in trouble. Wait, why did I ignore... Why did I ignore Rage Powder? Okay, now I'm just confused. I'm going to need you guys to help me out here. Explain this to me. I'm so confused. Why did we ignore Rage Powder? That makes... Zero sense. What just happened? Night Slash comes out here. Gets a crit as well. This is a whole critting game. Oh, but Weavile's gonna go down, unfortunately. How did we ignore the Rage Powder with Inteleon? I'm so confused. Hey, I'll take it. Terror Blast into the Amoongus. You turn into the Amoongus. That should be GG's. Battle's canceled. Ninja Team just beat a pretty meta team, guys. Let's go. Alright. Alright, we've got another pretty meta team. And this one looks pretty, pretty tough. But I think... I think they definitely lead off with the Raging Bolt. And then it's going to be either Instant or Tornadus, I think. Has to be one of those two. Mm. I like Weavile here. Or Greninja. Greninja with Ice Beam. It's pretty solid. There's also the Wide Guard on Minshaw, which could be nice. I don't think we need it right now. I think maybe we go Hitmonlee, Weavile, Greninja. And in the back, maybe... Maybe Cleavor? Or Inteleon. I'm just scared of that Urshifu. Playing around that Urshifu is going to be tough. Let's just go Menchow. Why Menchow? I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. 
But Cleaver doesn't do too hot against... I mean, he did all right. But we haven't given Min Xiao a shot yet. We got to give Min Xiao some spotlight. Please. I'm getting so good at guessing what they're going to lead. <laughs> um, I'm just going to fake you out. And strip an Ice Beam into you. Because why not? Yeah. I think that's the best play I can go for. He's probably just going to want to want to go for a Tailwind. Which would be annoying, but it's fine. He's going to Terrasilize? The Tornadus? No. The Bolt. Into Fairy. Mm. Okay. I do have Terra Blast for it, but not right now. All right, Fake Out's going to come out here. Raging Bolt, just chill for a bit. And no, he's not going for a Tailwind. So Greninja should be able to KO here. Excuse me? But we get the freeze. Oh my goodness. How do we not KO there? That's nuts. And the Bolt flinches. Okay, good. Now what? Now what? I'm just going to get rid of the Tornadus. And I can just go for Ice Beam here, maybe. Yeah, let's just start chipping up damage here. Ice Beam comes out here. Chip up a little bit, right? Yeah, not much. And then Knock Off is going to get rid of the Tornadus. So no Tailwind for them. That's huge. No Tailwind for them. We have speed control for the rest of the game. And what's this thing going for? A T-Bolt. We should soak that. Yes, we do. Will we get the Para? Hmm. Not ideal. So I really like Greninja. So I might swap him out here. Gold Dengo. I'm guessing this thing just goes for Make It Rain. This one's tough. This one's definitely tough. Knock off the Gold Dango's item. Kind of want to swap for Ninja. But into who? I guess Main Shao. Yeah, let me swap out into Main Shao. Main Shao has the ability to wide guard future making rain shots, so. That could be beneficial for us. Well, Dengle's just gonna protect. So, what's the bolt going for? It's just gonna finish off my hit, Molly. Okay. That's a tad bit annoying. But now... Now I can get rid of the bolt. Now I can get rid of the bolt. Terror Blast poison into the bolt and then we just wide guard to make it rain. Has to be going for Make It Rain, right? It's just an easy play. Unless he goes for a Nasty Plot. Regardless, we outspeed. So as long as the Bolt doesn't protect, Bolt should be gone. Bolt should be bye-bye. And then we have Weavile on the back to clean up the Goldengo with Night Slash, and then we'll see what the last Mon is. But we're looking, we're looking pretty good here right now. Ninja Team is holding strong right now. Right, so we got a beautiful Poison Terra on Greninja. Here comes our Wide Guard. Terra Blast should go next. 
Gonna go for a thunderclap, which we soak. I forgot about thunderclap. <laughs> but we survived, so Terror Blast comes out here. Should pick up the KO, right? Hold up. Hold up. Greninja. Why? Why, Greninja? Why why you do this stuff to me? This guy's just gonna go for another thunderclap. He's not gonna go for make it rain, right? Surely not. Surely not. There's no reason you go for Make It Rain here. Every shows you wide guard. Yeah, he's just gonna protect. Okay, good. So he's probably protect on the clap. Yup. Alright, good swap there. Chip up the bolt a little bit. And now we come back in with our little Greninja. We can Ice Shard the Raging Bolt and then we can just Dark Pulse the Goldengo. Yo, we're making some beautiful plays today right now. Ice Shard into you and then just a Dark Pulse into the Goldengo. There's nothing he can do. Ice Shard is going to come out before the Thunderclap. And then we outspeed the Goldengo. Yep, there's the Ice Shard. Bye bye, Bolt. Tanky little thing. Finally goes down after. I can't believe it survived. Terror Blast. Poison Terror Blast. Alright, Greninja Dark Pulse. Come on. Come on, Greninja. You don't even pick up that KO. But we get the flinch. Oh my goodness, this ninja team is so good. Um. Is this Ogre Pond faster than me? I'm not sure if it's faster than me. And I think the Goldengo protects as it is. Correct. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to go into the Goldengo. Yeah, it did protect. I should have doubled down into the Ogre Pond. As long as we out outspeeds here, we, sh we should be fine. Yeah, we outspeed. Ice Spinner comes out here. How much are we doing? We do half. And then Ogre Pond goes for the Greninja. I'm okay with that. This is a GG's. Why you may ask? Because we still have Manchow. And Manchow is actually pretty nice here. We have a turn of fake out. So we're just going to Night Slash the Goldengo and we're going to fake out the Ogre Pond. Yes, it probably spiky shields. Who cares? We're going to get rid of the Goldengo. And then we already know we outspeed the Ogre Pond. So it's GG's. It's done. You're done. You can, you can just quit now. I give you permission to quit. But we made some really good reads in this battle. This was a good battle. The cherry on top would have been to read that protect and double down the ogre pawn, but I just wanted to play it safe. Because if we let the Goldengo go for Make It Rain, gets rid of both mons, Min Xiao can't beat the Goldengo. So it's just the safest play. But yeah, fake out into the spiky shield. We read that. Just a safe play. And then Night Slash into the Goldengo. 
Bye bye, Goldengo. Now it's a 2v1. Ogre Pond, what are you gonna do? Nothing. You can't do anything. Ice Spinner. Drain Punch. And that's GG's. Battle was cancelled. Let's go, boys. Ninja Team. Honestly, not bad. Alright, we've got a battle against Panch. This is a Sun Team. Just Protosynthesis galore. Except for the Iron Hands. Hmm. I kind of like Min Chao here. Do I go Min Xiao Hitmonlee or Min Xiao Cleavor? I'm gonna go Min Xiao Hitmonlee. And in the back, I'm gonna go Cleavor. Plus Weavile. How are we hitting the Iron Hands here? The Iron Hands is the only real big trouble, but I think I gotta leave both water types behind here. Can I do that? Yeah, because they got they got sun. So our, our our sniper shot, our hydro pump is not gonna do much damage here, even though it's super effective to some of these mons. Yeah. We'll leave the two water types behind. Nine tails fluttermain. So this is why I led. Min Xiao. But she now becomes a question of how am I getting rid of the Fluttermane. I can't really do anything to it right now. And he's just going to Terrasalize. Oh, the Ninetales? Into... Why? You're really burning Terra on your Nine Tails? That's a weird play. But Dazzling gets blocked here with the Wide Guard. And this thing's gonna go for a Flamethrower. Does that get rid of me? No. We soak. This is weird. I'm curious if Fluttermane is choice or like what's the case? I'm gonna go for a U-turn. I'm gonna go for a knockoff. It is choice. Okay. It's a choice Fluttermain. So that's actually not a bad. Ah. Kind of would have liked to stay in with. Main Chow. Okay. Do I come in Weavile or do I come in Cleavor? I think Cleavor. Yeah, definitely Cleavor. And now I come in Min Chao. Yeah. So yes, this nine tails is gonna outspeed me. That's fine. I am sash on.
on the Min Shao. So I'll survive any hit, if anything. And then we're going to go Water Terra into the Cleavor here to soak up any Fire-type move. And I don't think they're going to go for a Heat Wave here since they already saw my Wide Guard. But we'll see. We'll see. They go for Overheat and they miss, which is beautiful. Drain Punch comes out here. How much are we doing? That's big damage. Flash Cannon comes out into the Cleavor, which we resist as well. And it's going to lose some HP to Life Orb. Night Slash comes out here. Gets rid of the Nine Tails. Oh, this was a good turn for me. This was a solid turn for me. That Overheat miss was huge. You go, Men Now they, Yeah, now they come with Fluttermane. Now they come in with Fluttermane. Do they just Moonblast into me? They probably do. They probably Moonblast Man Shout, maybe. You have T-Bolt. Why do you have T-Bolt? But now that thing is choice into T-Bolt. But my Weavile isn't going to survive any of this stuff. Roaring Moon comes out here. Okay, there's a chance. Oh, this thing's speed was heightened. Alright, who do you target down with who here? Because I have Ice Shark. And I feel like Ice Shark could even get rid of the... The Roaring Moon. But I think Fluttermane I need to get rid of because Mei Xiao can't touch Fluttermane. So I'm going to Ice Shark into the Fluttermane. Probably won't pick up the KO, but it's fine. And I'll go Drain Punch into the Roaring Moon. Alright, Ice Shark comes out here. We do about half. Okay. Roaring Moon's going to go next. Going to go for U-Turn. Which we don't soak. Oh, that's rough. Yeah, and that's GG's. We needed that. That thing's Sash too? It survives on a free 1 HP. Wow. That thing survived on 1 HP for free. Yeah, that thing survived on 1 HP for free. Alright, that was a close game. But unfortunately, there's not much I can do anymore. Yep, there's a knockoff. And there's a T-Bolt. Well, there it is, guys. Ninja Team complete. And honestly, it surprised me. I was expecting to get, like, just destroyed by meta teams and everything but this team was able to hold up its own against some pretty meta teams pretty impressed with hitmon lee and it's like ability to just be a support mod fake out normal gem and unburden it's really nice you end up being one of the fastest mods on the field if they don't have tailwind and they can just co go do some coachings for free get plus one in attack and defense like nothing we will just able to do massive amounts of damage and Teleon with snipe shot and sniper can get some crits done but yeah overall pretty solid team had a lots of fun with it i did it like what i think i i think i did like eight or nine battles and i won six of them i only lost three of them it's not a bad team not a bad team so hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did please feel free to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel I'd really appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you.